This video is an introduction to utils, or as I originally thought they, they were spelled, utils. Now, utils are how economists measure happiness, or how well off a person is. Now, we talk about a util as a unit of happiness. This is a little strange because happiness is difficult to measure. There's obviously not any real meaning for what one unit of happiness is. Um, if I look at someone on the street, I can't say, wow, you're obviously six happy today. It doesn't mean anything. But the way that we are able to use utils is in comparisons, specifically in comparisons between bundles of goods or activities and deciding which one is better. Even though one util might not mean anything, it's obvious that two utils is more happy than one util. And so in this way, we're able to use utility as a way to compare two different options, even though the measure itself is kind of hard to grasp. So the way that we use it is by using utility functions. So these are functions where we say u, my utility, is equal to, for example, x plus 2y, where x and y represent some goods that I consume that give me happiness. So in this case, x could be equal to the uh, number of games that I play in a day, and y could be equal to the number of hot dogs that I eat. These things both give me happiness. And so my utility function shows that if you tell me how many games I'll get to play and how many hot dogs I'll get to eat, my utility function will tell you, will tell you how happy I am. Now, the reason that matters is because it allows me to compare bundles. So if I was trying to choose between getting to play five games and eat two hot dogs or getting one game and three hot dogs, my utility function would allow me to pick which one would be better for this person, in this case me. So if I had five games and two hot dogs, my utility would be equal to five plus two times two, or nine. And if I had the other option of one game and three hot dogs, it would be equal to one plus two times three which would be equal to 7, where this 5 and this 1 are the x value, and this 2 or this 3 are the y value. And so here I can see that I would rather have 5 games and 2 hot dogs. This works because utility is an ordinal measure, not a cardinal measure. And that means that the only thing we care about with utility is the order of choice, not how big the gap is, not any actual distance. Like I said, being nine happy or seven happy don't have any meaning by themselves. But the fact that nine is greater than seven tells me that I prefer this bundle to this one. And that's the thing that we're really trying to get to when we use utility. But when I use utility this way to represent a person's preferences, in this case, this utility function right here, represents the preferences of the person. It allows for the possibility that different utility functions could all represent the same preferences. So let's say, for example, I have three bundles of goods, A, B, and C. And for some utility function, let's say utility function one, bundle A gives me one unit of happiness b gives me 10, and c gives me 11. What this would tell me is that c is preferred to b, which is preferred to a. c is the one that gives me the most happiness. What it doesn't tell me is how much more happy it makes me. The number, the dif distance between 10 and 11 doesn't matter. All that matters is that c is higher than b, and b is higher than a. So if I had another utility function, call it utility 2, that 
was 1, 2, and 10, this would give me the exact same information as the previous one. Because distances, or the actual value of the utility doesn't matter, all that matters is which one is higher, utility 1 and utility 2 seem to represent the exact same preference. And this would be true even if it was more extreme. If this was 1, this was 1.1, 1 .1, and this was 1000, it would still show that C is preferred to B and B is preferred to A. This is going to lead into something that is called a monotonic transformation. And that's how we can transform one utility, the u equals xy, into a different utility function that represents the same preferences. And I'll explain that in the next video.